Here's a few questions dealing with polynomials that have um, other kinds of zeros other than just integral ones. Uh, so here it says find a polynomial with degree 3, so it's got to have an x cubed on it, uh, that has these as zeros. So if this is a 0, then a factor would be x minus root 2. If this is a 0, the factor would be x plus root 2. And if this is a factor or the an x-intercept or 0, the factor would be x minus 3. So I really, I could just say, there's my polynomial. But they probably want you to FOIL, multiply it all out. So x times x is x squared. This would be plus root 2x. This would be minus root 2x. And this would be a minus square root of 4, which is 2. And then these cancel out. So really, I just have x squared minus 2 times x minus 3. Let's FOIL out together, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 6. Okay, so there would be my polynomial. Here's another question that's similar. This time, instead of just having a monomial, they have a binomial for the zero. And this you have to be a little bit careful with. So when you write this as a factor, you'll write it as x minus that thing, 1 minus root 3. Okay, so that is the factor. Then you'd apply the minus sign to both, so it would turn out to be x minus 1 plus root 3. Okay, that's for that one. Now this one, same thing, x minus 1 plus root 3. Again, you'd apply that minus to both things, so it'd be x minus 1 minus root 3. And then the last one, phew, nice easy one, x plus 2. So then I would multiply all this stuff together and then multiply the minus 1 by everything. I'll go ahead and do it. x times x is x squared minus x minus 3 root x. And then minus x uh, plus 1 and plus root 3. And then plus root 3x uh, minus root 3 and a minus square root of 9, which is 3. That's a long one, times x plus 2. Something's got to cancel here. Root 3, one's plus, one's minus. Oh, no, that's a root 3x. Oh, that one goes with this one. Oh, but this one cancels with this one, too. So then I'd have x squared minus 2x minus 2. This one and this one gives me a minus 2. Okay, and then I have x plus 2, which I, again, multiply that all through. Okay. So I didn't finish that one, but that I hopefully have got you on the right track. Okay, here's another question. Find a polynomial of degree 5 this time with minus 1 as a 0. So the factor would be x plus 1. Or it has a multiplicity of 3. So there's three of them. Um, 0, multiplicity 1. So that'd be x plus 0 or just x. And then uh, 1 as a 0, multiplicity 1. So it'd just be x minus 1. And I would probably just leave the function written like that. If you wanted to, just for fun, there'd be three of those, there'd be one of those, and then an x minus one. So you could FOIL all this together, and then take what you have there and FOIL it with the next one, and then take that, etc. cetera. Um, if you wrote on a test this, I'd be happy with that. Um, if it's a degree three, I, I think it, you can be expected to multiply those out. But if it's degree 5, that's pushing it a little bit. Okay, there's another one, similar kind of thing. Uh, degree 5 with uh, a5 is equal to 1. a5. Okay, so um, a half has a 0 of multiplicity 2. So it would be x plus 1 half multiplicity 2, 0 multiplicity 1, so it would just be x, and then 1 is a multiplicity, or 1 is a 0 multiplicity 2, so it would be an x minus 1, and there would be two of them. And a5, I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, I would uh, write that as my function, because it, it has all the zeros listed for you question I'll just show you is this one. They say given the polynomial has, has the given zero, so it has this zero, they want to find all the other zeros. So there has to be four of them. So if one of them is minus i, 
I have to have another one that's a plus i. And then there's got to be two other ones. So let's try using synthetic division to uh, find the other ones. So 1 minus 5, 7, minus 5, and 6. I've accounted for 4, 3, 2, 1, and nothing. Good. Okay, and so let's divide everything by negative i. So 1 times negative i is negative i, add negative 5 minus i. And then i negative i times this will be uh, positive 5i plus i squared, but that'll turn into a minus 1. Okay, add. So that'll be uh, 7 minus 1, so it'll be 6 plus 5i. Okay, now multiply it by negative i, so it'd be a negative 6i. And then it'd be a minus 5i squared, or just plus 5. Okay, add. Oh, the 5s go away, so this would just be minus 6i. Nice. Minus 6i times minus 1 would be a positive 6i squared. But i squared is negative 1, so this would be a negative 6. And this would come out to a remainder of 0. Whew. That was sort of fun. Hey, but now we can keep going on the next one. So um, if minus i is a 0, then i has to be a 0. Let's do i. Let's bring down this one. So this would be i. Add uh, minus i plus i. That's nothing, so it would just be minus 5. Minus 5 times i would be a minus 5i. Add. Oh, the 5i and minus 5i cancel out again. So this would be 6. 6 times i is 6i. Add. Oh, you get 0 again. Nice. So that's your remainder. So just to take stock of what we have, from this, I would have x plus i. From this, I'd have x minus i. And then I have this as the last quadratic factor. OK, and if it's a quadratic, luckily we don't have any i's there. I can break it into that. And I think it's minus 3 and minus 2. So the other i's would be i, because there's a minus i, there has to be a plus i. And then you're also going to have uh, the other zeros would be a 3 and a 2. All right, hopefully that helps you with those five questions.